boys and girls. Welcome back to another writing lesson with Mrs. Burke. Today, I'm here to give you some tips about using adjectives and how they relate to character traits. If you're ready, let's get started. Well, you might be wondering, hmm, how can I link adjectives and character traits? Well, lucky for you, I'm here to tell you how. When we think of adjectives, we think about words that describe nouns. And we know that adjectives can help us think about how things taste or smell or look or sound or feel. Well, we can think about those adjectives and we can apply them to characters. And when we use those adjectives to describe characters, we are discussing the character's traits. We are discussing what that character is like. Now, character traits can describe a character on the outside and on the inside. So when we look at a character, we can think about how they look physically right? We can think about what color their hair is or their eyes. We could talk about what kind of hair they have. Is it straight or is it curly? Is it long or is it short, right? We can also think about maybe the type of clothes they wear or maybe if they're tall or short. When we think about characters on the inside, we think about how those characters are acting, maybe how they feel, and maybe the things that they are saying. So oftentimes we may use words like determined or kind or helpful to describe a character. And when we are describing a character, we are using adjectives. So adjectives and character traits are very closely related. Watch me as I think about Marette on High Wire. We read this book together in school and it was a lovely little book about a girl who wanted to walk on the high wire. Now, when I think about Marette, quite a few adjectives or character traits come to mind. See what I did there? I said adjectives, but I also said character traits because they are so closely related. So when I think about Marette, there's quite a few ways I would describe her. First, I would say that she was determined. Think about it. In the book, she really wanted to walk on that high wire and she asked Bellini to help her. And not only that, but she also practiced it on her own. I'd say that she was helpful. She helped her mom at the inn, and she also helped Bellini when he was on the high wire and got a little bit frightened. I would also say that she's curious. Notice how she was kind of lurking in dark corners and she was kind of watching and listening and learning all about Bellini. And I'd also say that she was pretty. When I looked at her, I loved her, whoops. I didn't mean to make my picture big. I meant to move that. There we go. <laughs> when I looked at Marette, I loved that she had beautiful red hair and she often had a bow in her hair and some nice clothes. So I would say that she's pretty. So when I look at these character traits, some of these character traits are inner traits, things that you would find on the inside of a person in their heart, in their head, right? And some of these are outer characteristics like pretty because that's how I felt she looked. So my character, my characteristics or character traits that I chose for Marette are determined, helpful, curious, and pretty. All right, boys and girls, I hope you see the link between adjectives and character traits. And I hope that this will help you in your writing journey through this unit. You're going to have an opportunity to try this out on Seesaw. As always, do your best work.